Hey, what's up? Welcome to Android University. My name is Hobart, and I'm pleased to show you the brand new Liquid release candidate number 8 based off of Android 4.1.2. Not 4.2 this time, but uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, first thing you need to do, though, of course, is download the ROM. You can find a list of the supported devices in the description of this video. Uh, and if your device is, uh, of course, uh, on the list, you're able to run this ROM. Uh, download the ROM, download the gaps, get them on your SD card, and you're ready to flash. Now, you can use either Clockwork Mob Recovery or TWRP. I'm using TWRP here, uh, which if you flashed around before, you know how to do it. But first thing, of course, you're going to want to do is wipe. Wipe, uh, wipe uh, Data Factory Reset, wipe your system, wipe your cache, and wipe your Dalvik. Do the same thing on your, uh, on your Clockwork Mob Recovery. Once you're all wiped out, you're going to install find where you have it on your SD card, where your gaps are as well, uh, and if you have TWRP, you can add another zip after you've put the first one, which is the actual ROM, you can add more zips and go find your gaps, and then flash them both at the same time. If you're using Clockwork Mob Recovery, then you're going to flash the ROM first, and then flash the gaps second. Those are your Google apps, like the Play Store and Gmail and stuff like that. Okay, once you've done that, you're ready to reboot here. Check out the awesome uh, Liquid Smooth Boot animation that they've put together here, which I love. One of the more interesting, cool-looking ones. Now this new build has got a lot of cool tweaks, a lot of customizations that you can play with. Um, it's very fast, it's very smooth. Liquid Smooth is a great name for it because it is smoking. Uh, like I said, Android 4.1.2 is what this is based off of. Uh, not Android 4.2 this time. They're still trying to get all the bugs quirked out and everything merged into CyanogenMod and uh, so that they can kind of play with it in Liquid as well. So maybe next build for Android 4.1 or 4.2. All right, this is what the lock screen looks like. I've got it set up, and I'll show you how you can set up some of these options. I've got weather on here, uh, my day date, and, of course, Hobart down at the bottom. Uh, this is all customizable, which I'll show you. But first, let's go into the system settings all the way down to About Phone and see what we're working with here, Android 4.1.2. Uh, we are running the KT747 kernel, which is a custom kernel with the K-Tweaker application. Uh, we are on release candidate number 8, Liquid Jelly Bean, version 2.0. So uh, that is what about phone looks like here. Now let's go to the home screen. I am using the Nova Launcher. It does come with the stock launcher, which is just as good. Just a few more options with Nova. So uh, I use that. It's a personal favorite. Uh, so that's what the home screens look like. Very smooth. Going into the app drawer again, very smooth. Uh, it's liquid smooth. It should be, right? Widgets are all there as well. You can get into your settings, Play Store, and things by clicking this uh, option over to the right. And again, that might be Nova specific. Uh, but let's go into what makes this thing so customizable, all right? The liquid splasher. The Liquid Splasher is going to be where you are going to be able to uh, customize your ROM. First, let's give some love to the team here. I'll show you uh, all their names. We've got Liquid0624, Liquid's Girl, He-Man Shoe, JK, or, Eli or Eclipse, No Coast, Raymond FX, Toxic Thunder, and Dag Right. You can, of course, donate to each one of them via PayPal through your uh, your ROM. You can get to their website, to the GitHub. Uh, so big props to the team for putting together a great ROM. The interface, these are all the options that you're able to customize. Your carrier label, I have at Hobart, set a custom background. Um, your alarm icon, hold back to kill, all these options I have enabled. You can change your LCD density, force the tablet UI, lock screen I just showed you a few minutes ago. You can put a custom background or wallpaper on there, change the text color, um, the widget alignment, battery status is only there when I'm charging. Now these are the uh, buttons, calendar, security, shortcuts, and weather. I did enable the weather for my home screen, which I do like that option there. So those are the options in the lock screen menu. Then you got, oops, you got your navigation bar menu, which if you use the navigation bar, you're enabled to, you can enable those buttons down here at the bottom on the screen, change the uh, colors, what they do, uh, all customizable here in the navigation menu. Now we'll go over to the power menu here, and this is going to be this menu right here. And what's shown in that menu, you get to choose what's in that menu and what's not, which you can do right here. The status bar, which is going to be up top. Your battery style, you can change that. You have different options. You have a brightness control, which is sliding your finger across the top there. Notification count, do not disturb. I show my clock. I like the center clock with the AM, PM, um, and I like to keep it ice cream sandwich blue. The day of the week I like, but the show date part here kind of makes it cluttered. If you can kind of see how it looks, it makes it kind of cluttered looking, so I'm going to keep the date out of there. But it is an option. 
Your toggles here, these are going to be these toggles up top, what you want to be shown, what order, uh, what color, all customizable. You can also enable that brightness slider, which I like to have up top here. And that's in the toggle section. We're still going. Most options I've seen on a ROM in a long time. This baby is totally customizable. You got USB fast charge here, boot animation, you can disable that. Uh, you have a couple other things you can play with here in your performance section. You got the processor here. You can control your governor, your different frequencies, uh, the voltage, all that here in your menu. But you can use the K tweaker if you're using the, uh, the kernel that comes with it. And then, of course, there are some system options as well that you can play with, all right? So that is basically the liquid splasher. That's what gives you all those customization options. You got the theme chooser. You can download themes and install those on your device. You have an advanced menu, which uh, allows you to calibrate the uh, the gyroscope that's in it. You just lay your phone down and hit the button, uh, and it will calibrate that for you. And that can come in handy with certain applications. Um, and that's pretty much it for the settings menu. Of course, these are all the normal AOSP settings that you see on the ROM. But but that liquid splasher definitely makes it. Uh, one up on everybody else. What else did I want to show you here? Uh, da -da 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 -da. GPS. Uh, I'm inside right now, so it might or might not work very well. Uh, I did have it locked on to like 11 or 12 out of 19 uh, earlier today, so if it doesn't pop up right now, no big deal. I can go over by the window real quick. All right, so it's not popping up right now, but uh, it definitely does work. I had it work in the location works on uh, Google Maps. If you go to Google Maps, it'll uh, show you in your correct location, so it's not going to be off, which is uh, pretty sweet. That is exactly where I am inside right now. So GPS is working. Uh, the GPS status just taking a minute to lock on, so I don't want to make you wait. The camera is the Android 4.1.2 camera. Uh, this is not the 4.2 camera. You can try the zip file for the G Next if you want to, uh, but it is the 4.1.2 camera. And overall, it is a fast, quick ROM. It's beautiful. Thanks to the Liquid team for putting it together. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos, uh, YouTube.com, Android University, all one word. Uh, the latest and greatest ROMs for your Galaxy S3 or your device are on my uh, YouTube page. Don't forget to check the list in the description of this video to find out if your phone is supported. And thanks for joining me today. My name is Hobart for Liquid Team. Have a great day.